morning everyone, welcome back to JMC Creates, my name is Jackie McKissick, today we're going to make a version of this card. Um, I had a foiling session the other day, I was just playing, didn't know what I was doing so I got out my foil, I had a lot of new foiling things to play with, and these are Pink Fresh Studio Small Butterflies. These are Toddle Large Butterflies. This is a Crafter's Companion Foil and Cut Heart. And this is a Spellbinder Strip Sentiment. And I created the background. This is a stamp and foam background that I had in my stash and I just stuck it behind it. So today we are going to use the same heart. I forgot to get my inks out. Okay. Good job they're not far away, isn't it? Right, what do we need? We need red, orange. Yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. So I'm using Paper Craft Society ink cubes that I have in my collection from their thingy me jig, and I'm using my dye brushes. These are the ones that I use with my dye inks. So, I have a piece. I think I'm I'm going to have to make a smaller card because this is the heart I found that I want to use. It's a. Uh, I think it's from AliExpress. It's just a generic heart die that I found. I actually cut it out three times and layered it as usual for dimension so that's a heart I'm going to use anyway. uh, excuse me right this this um, stencil is actually a from a pack that I got from the range in Northern Ireland, it's in the UK. Okay, so red. Put the brush back so as we don't lose it. And this is the easiest background to make. Oops, just be careful you don't go the wrong way. Red orange and as you can probably tell I'm making a rainbow background to go behind my heart. I don't suppose the sides really matter because I think I'm going to cut this down to uh, a UK A6 card size. this time simply because of the size of my heart right down just do the sides anyway because I don't know what side I'm going to cut it off at purple red orange yellow green blue purple and then pink. Pink at the very bottom. And hopefully that should be 
O's for our background. Now, I don't know. I'm going to have to obviously cut this down. And I think I'm using a red piece of card behind this because I've used red for the front of my... Uh, hard for my heart. You see the way I, I smudged it there but we can cut as much as that off as possible. That I will clean when I get round to it which will be whenever my card is finished. Right I want to cut. So I need this to be three and three quarters by five and three eighths. Okay, three and three quarters by five and three eighths. Excellent. Then I need a lead piece that is my my mats are all three mil of a difference. So one under four inches and one over five and a half. Pernickety, I know, but it's what I'm used to doing. You don't have to do that. You could do four by five and five, and then three and three quarters by five and three. So... Do whatever floats your boat, whichever you're more comfortable with. And I'm hoping that this card is quite quick then. The background, the longest bit of, as usual, would be your die cutting. Right. As you can see, this is the shape of my heart die, and it's just going to sit on there, and it fits on there perfectly. Okay, so where's my card base? Hiding in there, and as usual, my card base is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters, scored at four and one eighths. We're just going to, while we've got our glue going, we're just going to. Do this, although I do need to start doing Christmas cards. I just haven't got into the swing of it yet. I've done a couple, I think, but that's about it. Now let's see where we want our heart. There's our butterfly that we're going to use today. I do have the opposite one for up there. And then I have this I am here for you that has been foiled with rainbow foil. So I'm just going to try and get glue on as many of the larger bits as I can. Even that bit in there. You don't have to be too pernickety. But do attempt to get as much on as you can. Right, turn it over. This is this is what I do. I turn it over and I press from the other side to get it down firm. Right? So then what we need now is our flutter buys and I want to use my quick grab ink for that. Now because these aren't as big I'm not sure this is going to work the same but I'm going to give it a go. Just put that one up there. And I think we'll put that one there. 
not actually on the heart this time, just beneath it, like there. Okay, and then we need to put our sediment on. I'm going to get a little bit of sticky. Oops, nearly dropped it there. Okay, now can I get this finished before TJ gets up the stairs? Because I think I hear him on this horrible, wet, pissing Northern Ireland day. Oh my God, it's cold. It is, what is it, the 25th of July. It's cold and raining. Half of the UK is complaining about heat. And we've got rain. Go cool figure. I think that's why we're called the Green Isle. So much rain. Right, that's not that's not a hundred percent straight, I don't think. Oh sh sausages. Oops, I did, I bent that back. Come on, get up there. I mucked it up. Come on, stick. Okay. A new stick. A bit of the red come off, you see. So there we go. There's version 2. And there is version 1. I do like both of them, to be honest. So I'd be happy to give any of those cards to anyone. I hope you liked them. Thanks for stopping by. As always, much appreciated. I hope you're all safe and well. Remember to thumbs up, etc. Until the next time. Jackie out.